So, what is the Shape and Transition project about? This project is all about timing. It's going to help you improve how you animate objects on screen. Your goal for this project is to create fluid and natural feeling animation. In this lesson, we will discuss motion principles, different types of transitions, and storyboarding. Let's do a review of motion principles. We're going to dissect the student's project. The example is a shape and animation sequence with images. Here's my first question. What motion principles are they using? Did you guess frame? This student introduces the circles from each corner. As each collide, the circle scales larger. What is the next principle? Scale. Scale is used effectively throughout the piece to create contrast and transition. For example, in the second part of the animation, the square animates in from the bottom right, then scales away. Just when it scales away, a second square enters on the left and scales to fill the screen. Any more guesses to what principles the student is using? Timing. The circles animate in similar speeds, but come in pairs or even waves. The squares have the exact same timing even though the spacing and the scale are different. What do the circle and the square share in their animation? They all share a small pause or hesitation before they animate off the screen. This pause technique allows the viewer to under This pause technique allows the viewer to understand the object before it's gone. Okay, last but not least, Remember, easing gives a natural movement to your object. In this project, all the objects ease in to the frame. They come in quick and slow down gradually to a stop. Transitions. Transitions are a great way to move from one scene to the next. They are used in everything from movies to commercials to banner ads. Here are six transition types to consider for your shape animation sequence with vector. Basic, use one shape and scale to fill the screen with a new color. Then use the same shape with the original background color. It's simple, but the key is how natural the motion is. There is an ease out with a quick snapping action at the end. Then a deliberate two second pause before the second shape animates. This pause creates tension and contrast in the timing. Slides. This sequence animates similar to basic, but will come from the left, right, top, or bottom. Radial. Any transition that uses rotation. Moves. Moves uses two or more shapes. The shapes can respond to each other and animate together, or they can animate from opposite sides and merge together. Shapes. In this example, circles pop in at different times to fill the frame with color. And bars. The bars animate in one after another and with staggered timing, each at an identical pace. There is a pause and then they animate out. This is just a starting point for the different types of transitions you can work with. Each one of these examples can have more or less shapes, have different timing, or be combined together. It's time to storyboard again. Let's get those ideas down on the page. Start by printing out a dozen or so storyboarding templates. Start to sketch out your ideas. The animation sequence with images could be organic it could be a combination of circle, square, rectangle, and line. This is your chance to experiment. When you sketch your vector sequence, try to think about how your shapes will animate. How will they enter the frame? How quickly will they animate? Is there any pauses? Did the shapes react to one another? Or did they animate together? Have fun, play around, and take the time to come up with three ideas for each sequence. In this lesson, we review motion principles, different types of transitions, 
and storyboarding. The key takeaway from this lesson is timing. It's all about timing and how you can create natural fluid motion with your animations. You have three challenges for this lesson. One, start out by sketching three different storyboards for each sequence. They can be two frames or six frames. All that matters is that you get your idea across. Two, write down all your ideas for motion with each frame. And three, choose your best storyboard for each sequence and find a related sound and images. Next, we will bring all of this together in After Effects.